Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday, April 5, 2024. I still have all my physics books from my high school days. And I found this problem in one of these books. It's problem 197, and it is the filter circuit. It's not difficult, but it isn't easy either. The figure below shows a simple filter circuit, which is designed to pass a DC voltage with minimal attenuation, but to remove as much as possible any AC components, such as 50 or 60 Hertz line voltage, that could cause harm in a stereo receiver. So here is the input, and here is what comes out. So this has DC and AC in it, and you want as much DC as possible and as minimum AC as possible. Notice there is no resistance in that system, in that system and we will have to assume that the resistance is indeed very, very small. Assume that V in is V1 plus V2, where V1 is DC, and V2 is V20 sine omega t, so that's the AC component, and that any ohmic resistance R is very small. First question. Determine the current through the capacitor, give the amplitude and the phase, and assume that R is zero, and that XL is larger than XC. XL is omega L, is the reactance of the self-inductor, and XC is 1 over omega C, is the reactance of the capacitor. I cover reactances in great detail, including demos, in my lecture 25 of 802. It's not an easy lecture, but I really think it's one of my best 802 lectures. And I tell you something which, which is really true. Yesterday when I looked at my lecture 25, because I wanted to see how I cover exactly the reactances. I start in the beginning, I couldn't stop, and I watched all 50 minutes. Yeah, and yet that lecture I gave in 2002, 22 years ago. Second question, show that the AC component of the output voltage is Q divided by C minus V1, where Q is the charge on the capacitor at any instant, and determine the amplitude and phase of V2 out. Last question, show that the attenuation of the AC voltage is the greatest when XC is much, much smaller than XL, and calculate the ratio of the output AC to the input AC voltage in this particular case, that XC is much, much smaller than XL. The goal, of course, is to make that ratio as small as possible. Yep. Isn't it wonderful how a simple circuit like this can do that? And that simple circuit is almost in any audio system that you can even imagine, but not only in audio systems. All right.
I expect, I hope, at least, maybe at least eight or nine, perhaps ten correct answers. But maybe I'm dreaming. <laughs>